welcome the 2014 Colorado Teacher of the Year, Elizabeth Miner. in the lives of every one of her students, and every day she embodies the expectations for Teacher of the Year by the tremendous work she does at Fitzsimmons Middle School in Bailey. It's very exciting for us to have a physical education teacher receive this prestigious award. At Colorado Education Association, we believe a comprehensive, well-rounded education gives students all of the skills and tools they need to compete for jobs, achieve their potential, and make a better life. Elizabeth's personal story is remarkable, excuse me, is remarkable to me. From her childhood experiences in Thailand, to high school in Washington, D.C., and college at the University of South Carolina. On her journey to becoming Teacher of the Year, Elizabeth's own life experiences have allowed her to understand her students and not define them by isolated test results. She recognizes each student has a unique, interconnected set of wants and needs, strengths and weaknesses, and academic challenges and physical aptitudes. In her own words, I believe that I'm not just a PE teacher, I am an educator. Elizabeth makes her words into reality by connecting physical education to cross-curriculum core skill development every day in her classroom. Elizabeth's passion for teaching brings PE to life for her students. Her classes use reading, writing, and math skills so that each student can understand and articulate the relationship of physical activity with academic achievement. Elizabeth is a CEA member, and she is joining us today with her new baby, two-and-a-half-week-old Preston. So please, once again, welcome the 2014 Colorado Teacher of the Year, Elizabeth Miner. Colorado Teacher of the Year, and it is a pleasure to be able to speak before you today. I am currently a full-time middle school physical education teacher at Fitzsimmons Middle School on maternity leave, um, spending time with my family right now, um, but can't wait to get back up into the mountains and start teaching again. I attended high school near Washington, D.C., and I considered my graduation as something equated to survival. The high school I attended was plagued with the all too common social ills of drugs, weapons, and a high dropout rate. In high school, a teacher once told me, if this is the way kids are going to be, then I don't want to teach. The stress caused by teacher student discipline issues took its toll on my teachers. In reflection, my four years in high school were the most difficult four years of my young life. I felt as though I was on a roller coaster ride from being successful in classes to teachers telling me to give up, that I was never going to master the basic skills. I also dealt with the death of friends who had lost their young lives to accidents, violence, and suicide. In spite of all of this, I went on to accomplish my goal of playing on an NCAA Division I soccer team at the University of South Carolina. I believe these experiences have helped me become the person I am today. Who I am shines through the relationships I have created with my students and in my teaching. When I look back on my life, I clearly see where some of my teachers could have helped me more. Today, I have vowed to never allow a student to experience being called a failure. Teach. What does this word mean to you? By 
by definition, it means to show or explain to someone how to do something. To me, it means so much more than the definition. It means getting up each day knowing I have a really important job. I have an opportunity to guide my students down a path of good health, active bodies, and a strong mind. Teach. It means being a professional, knowing my curriculum, and understanding what my students need to know to be successful in the future. That knowledge may be the curriculum I am teaching, but it also means supporting other teachers' curriculum in my school. If my seventh graders are struggling with composing and creating complete thoughts and sentences, I need to make sure that they have a chance to practice those skills in my classroom. If our students are exposed to the skills needed to be successful in every class, then they will understand how important those skills really are. The more exposure to the skills being taught, the more likely our students will learn them. Teach. Being an advocate for our physical education. Making sure that students, teachers, parents, administration, and community members understand how important being active is for our kids. <laughs> Research shows that an active body has an active mind. With childhood obesity rate rising every year, I think it's very important that we emphasize how important it is to get out of your chair and move. I have implemented one to three minute physical activities for all teachers in my school to use in their classrooms to re-energize their students, get their students' minds engaged so there's more time on task, which ensures more learning. It's a win-win situation. Students get a small break from their rigorous learning, and teachers have active minds to teach for a longer amount of time. Teach. It means caring and supporting my students through their educational journey. Some of my students believe that my class is the only class they're successful in. They say, school's not for me. They see themselves as great athletes. I see them as hardworking, competitive leaders that can take the knowledge they know in my class and apply it to the rest of their classes. What they need is someone to show them the connection. I would say, if you work as hard on your math work as you would work on your basketball skills, you would see how successful you could be. Sometimes it's not about how smart you are. It's about how hard you work, applying yourself, and not giving up when school gets challenging. <laughs> Teach. Most of all, I believe this word describes what is most important, and that is getting my students ready for the future. If that be a college path or a career path, as a physical education teacher, I teach how to be physically fit for life. I also teach communication skills, empathy, sportsmanship, integrity, hard work, competitiveness, rigor, and to never give up no matter how challenging something may be. I push my students to show growth in their physical and mental ability. It's not about how strong you are or how fast you are. It's about your personal improvement. Teach. As a physical education teacher, I feel that it's easier for my students to make a connection with what is being taught and why it is so important. Students know it's important to be able to stay physically fit, eat healthy, minimize stress, and rest their bodies. What I do is give them the tools they need to be successful when they're on their own. I am constantly asking my students, why am I teaching you how to exercise? Why am I teaching you to work with a group of diverse individuals? How will this impact you 10, 20, 30 years from now? My students need to be able to answer those questions in complete thoughts and give multiple examples. 
They are constantly working on their critical thinking skills. And this is how I know my students truly understand and can apply what they have learned. Teach. I cherish seeing that smile of accomplishment when a student accomplishes a goal. One of my favorite experiences as a teacher is when my students have to run the mile. And those who struggle push themselves to reach the goals that I have set for them or they have set for themselves. For some, this is a really big challenge. Watching the students who have completed the mile go back out on the track and support those that have not finished with encouraging words always brings tears to my eyes. These are the times that I take a moment to relish the fact that all of these students are amazing people. And I can say, without a doubt, I have found the career I am meant to pursue. Today, as you go through um, your different um, conference uh, agenda, I want you to think about what the word teach means to you. The definition is so simple, but our jobs are not. Our jobs are actually very complex. Um, and I think sometimes we lose sight about what we actually do every day. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my stories. If you are interested in following my journey as the 2014 Colorado Teacher of the Year, um, please follow my blog at Colorado Teachers Journey at blogspot.com. Again, Colorado Teachers Journey at blogspot.com. You also can get the information off the CDE website. Thank you again, and please enjoy the rest of your day.